Praise the Lord. Welcome again to our Wednesday 15 minute podcast. I want to beg your indulgence again. Thank you so much. Trump off for you for taking us to the first 100 subscribers. I am depending on you. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us to hit another 50, taking us to 150 subscribers. If you have not done it, please do it now. Press on subscription, the bell comes out, press on the bell and then you are a subscriber. Then if you have friends, introduce them to our YouTube channel. What do you have to lose? Nothing. You don't lose nothing. What do you have to gain? Everything. Every time the, the podcast is ready and then you are back from your busy schedule, YouTube will drop you a notification and then you can follow us on the series. So welcome again to our Wednesday 15 minutes podcast. We started a series of teaching on Monday on the topic, God is not mad at you. And we took our text from the book of John chapter 5 where Jesus Christ told the man in verse 14 afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him behold thou art made whole sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee now on Monday we started understanding this that Jesus Christ was talking to an Old Testament sinner Jesus Christ came to deal with sin and Jesus Christ told an Old Testament sinner to stop sinning. Now the question is, we need to understand that statement because how can an Old Testament sinner stop sinning? If he can stop sinning, then why did Jesus come? But you see, Jesus was correct. The man can stop sinning. So we all we just need to understand his statement in context. In context. That's number number two. Everybody that Jesus healed, they were all sinners. So there's a high possibility that they actually continue in sinning after he healed them. So if sin makes you sin, then it means that all of them went back sick. Then it means that like Jesus Christ probably wasted his time healing them, knowing that they will fall back sick. But you see, that is not true. So that's why I'm teaching on the series which I call God is not mad at you. And we stop at Psalm 107 verse 17 to 20. He said, fools, because of their transgression or sin and because of their iniquities are afflicted. That is why Old Testament sinners fell sick. Because of their sin. Their soul abhor all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Did you see that? Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He sent his word, and he healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. So, in the old covenant, they, become, they became sick, for their sins and when they called out to God he healed them and that was what Jesus Christ did so Jesus Christ came and was healing sinners but what is responsible for their sin what was responsible for their sickness is their sin is their sin hallelujah what is responsible for their sickness is their sin but God never stopped healing them while they are sinning that's what Psalm 107 said. Fools, because of their transgressions and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Now Jesus Christ also came and was healing them right in their sin. But Jesus Christ now told them, stop sinning or something worse will come upon you. But meanwhile, that was why Jesus Christ came. He came for sin. Now God will have to first forgive their sins. Every time the sin then he will heal them. According to David's testimony, that God forgive his sins and then heals him. In Psalm 103, he said, Who forgiveth all thy sins, thy iniquities, 
who healed all that diseases. So there was forgiveness of sin in the Old Testament. And then God will heal them. So you don't have to remain sick even under the Old Testament, Old Covenant. Confess your sins. Receive the forgiveness of sins. And God heals you. So that was under the arrangement that people under the Old Testament received their healing. So get the principle. Get the blueprint. There must always be a forgiveness of sin first before there can be healing. Now, we don't have forgiveness of sin given every time we sin in the New Testament. Like the old covenant people I'm sure you are still following me. There can never be healing without first of all forgiveness of sin. So even in the Old Testament, David made us to understand it in Psalm 103 verse 3, that God forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. So meaning that, even in the Old Testament, they have to confess their sins. And then God heals them. God heals them. So now we don't have forgiveness of sin given every time we sin in the New Testament like the old covenant people because Jesus had already given the two both the forgiveness of sins and healing before we sin or take it at all. Now that is the interesting thing. Now in 1 Peter 2 24, hear what he said. Who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Did you see that? Now talking about the New Testament believers now. That we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness. Being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes you are healed. Now that is saying exactly the same thing with Psalm 103 verse 3. He says, Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? First Peter 2.24 says, who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, but that we being that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, should live unto righteousness, should live unto righteousness. By what stripes you are healed. Did you see that? Forgiveness of sin always comes first. Before healing. Before healing. So in the Old Testament, they have to confess their sins. They have to do atonement for their sins every time. Every time. The priests have to do that every day. And then the people can ask for forgiveness of sin every day. Sorry, the people have to ask for forgiveness of sin every day. That was what the priest was doing. And then they can be healed. But you see, in the New Testament, Christ did it once and for all. And that's, we're going to show it in the scriptures. So unlike in the Old Testament, you don't have the facility to be confessing your sin every time you sin. And then for the healing to be repeated every time that you need healing. Are you listening to me now? So we know it from 1 Peter 2.24. He said, by whose stripes ye were healed. Not that by his stripe you are healed. Or by his stripe you will be healed. As in the future. Or present continuous tense. No. By his stripes you were healed. That was in the past tense. And we have said it severally. That Jesus Christ is not coming back again. To receive the stripes all over and all over and all over again for our healing. So you see, Jesus Christ is not healing today. Jesus Christ had already healed. And he has rested from the healing process for us. So we just obtained our healing. Did you get it now? Good. Now, in the same scriptures, he said, in the same first Peter 2 24, he said, Who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree? You see, 
He's not coming back again to be a sin every day in his body. He bought it once and for all. We're going to show the scriptures. I'm going to show you the scriptures. So you see, sin has been dealt with once and for all, or else sickness could never have been dealt with once and for all. So since Christ has dealt with sickness once and for all, it automatically means that he has also dealt with sin once and for all. So the Old Testament sinner could not have stopped sinning so we're going to understand that, understand that sin that Jesus is asking him to stop. Couldn't have stopped sinning, and that was what Christ came to do. Christ came to stop sinning in our sin in our life. We couldn't do it individually. But from Peter, from from First Peter, it is evident that he dealt with healing once and for all time, which automatically means he should have dealt with sins also once and for all because. Without forgiveness of sin, there will not be healing. According to that Psalm 103, and according to what we have read also in Psalm 107. So, there is no sin to be forgiven before you are healed in the New Testament because Jesus is not coming again to forgive the, the forgiven sins and to heal the healed bodies again. They were accomplished according to that first Peter 2.24. Hallelujah. According to that first Peter 2.24. Who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were, ye were here. So Christ doesn't come every day, somebody is sick to heal them. He has finished it. He has finished healing. So we just, we just obtain our healing. In the same manner, Christ does not expect us to keep confessing our sins to him no we should just learn to accept forgiveness of sin and move ahead with our life so i'm again out of time right now but not out of series yet so on friday we will continue from where we are stopping today as for me here i want to tell you that jesus christ is lord i will see you in our friday 15 minutes podcast